Hello everybody, it's uh, Monday afternoon and I wanted to do a, another video of my snakes. Uh, big update, I meant to do my video a while back, but this reverse oka tea actually laid eggs for me. I've been trying to breed them for a while, I tried them last year. I tried the reverse oka tea and the, uh, the annery up here and they didn't take last year. So I tried them again and then I also paired her with my butter corn snake who um, I'm working on, he's getting a cage redesign right now, but um, yeah, I put her with him, yeah, he's just gorgeous, and I don't, so I don't know which male took, but she did lay eggs, she laid 14 eggs, they're sitting in the incubator right now, I'm going to show you those here in a minute, but yeah, it was a nice surprise, I was on vacation, and I came back, and she was under, she was underneath this, and she was sitting on a clutch of eggs, 14 eggs, her first time laying, and she laid 14 eggs, so, the incubator is right here, it's a Hovobader model, I've had it for years, I used to breed leopard geckos back in the day, so it's an old incubator from when I used to breed leopard geckos, but those are the eggs right there, those black marks, those are from, I, I use a sharpie to put those marks on there, so I know which way is up, because if you turn the eggs over, they could drown, so you want to make sure that uh, they're the right way up all the time. So they're on, they're sitting on sand right now, which I haven't used before, but it was all I had available at the time when I when I got them. And it seems to be doing really good. Um, some of the eggs are a little dented in, but uh, I don't know if she doesn't have enough. I mean, this was her first time breeding, so the eggs aren't perfect, but they are doing really good. They're about almost 30 days into incubation right now. So they're uh, about halfway done because it takes about 60, day, 60 days for corn snake eggs to to hatch. But uh, yeah, I have a thermometer right there, 82 degrees. That's what they're cooking at right now. Seems to be a good good temperature and there's a water bowl in there. So yeah, they're sitting in the Hovibader incubator. And the, um, I'll go back over here to the reverse Oka tea. So... Yes, uh, 13 of them, I candled them, 13 of them were fertile out of the 14. One egg looks infertile, it's glowing yellow and there's no veins. The other ones have like clear veins in it. So, and you can see the embryo, at this point you can see the embryo developing. It's like a black, a black shadow inside the egg and you can see it, it's really cool. This is my first time reading corn snakes, so this is kind of a exciting thing. So I did the genetics, um, the reverse oka tea to the annery is... Uh, according to the calculators, I get 100% normals, so they're all going to be normals, but they're going to be carrying the gene for anery, and they're going to be carrying the gene for albino, which is basically, a reverse oka tea is, is a selectively bred albino. For genetic sake, it's an albino, but it's an albino oka tea, which oka tea is considered a normal corn snake, just a different, uh, region, different, uh, locality of corn snake, basically, but, uh. Yeah, she's doing really good. She uh, she did really good. She didn't lose that much weight. She's uh, uh, so I'm giving her one one adult mouse a week, fatten her back up. I don't know if she's gonna lay again because I know they retained sperm. She's definitely. I'm never. I'm not gonna put her with anybody again this year. Obviously, you know, first time breeding. I don't want to injure the female. But uh, yeah, and this. Uh, I'll show you the butter again. So if she bred with him, they're gonna be 100% albino. So they're all going to be albinos, but they're going to be carrying the gene for caramel. So if I bred one of those babies back to him, I would get a, um, I could get a chance of getting butters. I think it's a 50% chance of getting butters, just like him. And uh, I know it seems like you guys really like these butter corn snakes. And they, they are beautiful. Really, really pretty. Let's see, I get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, so I'll know immediately when the babies hatch, which ones are, you know, what, what I'm getting. Because the... If they're normals, they're going to have black eyes if they poke their head out. And if they're albinos, they're going to have red eyes. So it'll be very easy to tell. But again, I don't know if these snakes are carrying hidden genes that the breeders didn't tell me about. Or the anery I got so long ago. I mean, I could have read the thing wrong. You know, I was like 10 years old. I mean, I don't remember. So he could be carrying a gene for something. And I could get a few surprises. I have no idea. So this is all going to be, this is going to be a big surprise for me. But I'm really excited for those eggs. Um, I'll go I'll show you one more one more look at those eggs And uh, let me get a flashlight so maybe you can see a little bit better 
Okay, found a little flashlight, but you can see a little some of the dents in the eggs a little bit. That one right there is the infertile one. That one back there. All the other ones are fertile, but um, I've been told that's that's normal, especially at this time in incubation, since they're about four weeks out from hatching, supposedly. That they that's normal for them to den in a little bit. The humidity is is perfect. Uh, that egg's perfect right there. So I have a few perfect eggs and a few dented in eggs, but. You know, they're all going to hatch. That egg seems to be growing a little bit of mold on it, so I've been working on that, putting foot powder on it, trying to keep the mold at, at bay. But, yeah, I'm really excited. But I'll post some more videos of my other snakes here. Uh, I just wanted to update you on, on this. Thank you. Bye.